Hi everyone, welcome to Black Cat Kitchen. I hope you're doing well. Today we're making the cheapest and easiest bread, my Irish soda bread. This recipe comes together with ingredients you already have in your pantry. It only takes five minutes, it has no yeast, and there's no kneading involved. So let's jump right in. See the description below for a list of ingredients. We're going to preheat the oven to 220 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Celsius fan or 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Line your baking tray with a sheet of parchment paper so that there's somewhere for our bread to go as soon as it's mixed together. Combine 475 milliliters of milk and one tablespoon of white vinegar. Give that a stir and let it start to thicken. Alternatively, you can use 500 milliliters of buttermilk. You can also substitute the vinegar for lemon juice. Into a mixing bowl goes 565 grams of plain or all-purpose flour. Don't bother using your expensive bread flour here. You don't need it. In goes one and a half teaspoons of baking soda and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Give that a whisk together until all of the dry ingredients are combined. Now is a great time if you want to add any extra flavors. So you can add grated cheddar cheese, chives, raisins, oats, or nuts or just leave it plain. Using a wooden spoon or a dough whisk, mix in your milk to your dry ingredients. This will become a shaggy dough and will eventually be too hard to stir by hand. Dust your work surface, turn out your dough, and give it a few quick folds just to bring it into a cohesive ball. You can add a bit more flour here if your dough is too wet. Transfer your dough ball onto your prepared baking sheet. Now we'll pat that down into about a one inch disc and we're going to cut a cross shape with a sharp knife about one centimeter deep on the top of our loaf. This is going to cook for 20 minutes, then we'll turn down the heat to 200 degrees Celsius or 180 degrees fan or 385 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we'll cook it for another 20 minutes. You'll want to hear that hollow tap, tap, tap and that's how you'll know your bread is ready. I like eating this bread while it's still steamy and warm from the oven, but it keeps well in an airtight container for three to four days, or you can slice and freeze it and it'll last for ages. If you want more easy bread recipes, check out this no need recipe right here. And make sure to hit that subscribe button just here. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time.